What's up everybody, Ascendant Zombie here. Welcome to my quick and easy tutorial guide for 5 lab reimagined easter egg. So, without further ado, let's get started right away. So as soon as you spawn in, you're going to be in an elevator. You can come over here to open the elevator doors and that will begin the game. And the zombies will start spawning. I do recommend that you can come over here and pick up this AK-74U and start getting a bunch of points. The first door we can open is right here, and it is the power room, so go ahead and turn on the power. And right here is our first step of the Easter egg. We need four fuses to go in that canister. So continue opening doors and find your way to the mystery box, because there are some good weapons in there that you'll want. So our first fuse that we can pick up is right here in the pig room next to Jug. And our next fuse is in the surgery room right here on the shelf. And our next fuse is out in the hallway next to Double Tap right here on this cart. And our final fuse that we can pick up is in the speed cola room right here on this table. After you've picked up all the fuses, you can come back and place them in the fuel canister, the fuse canister, excuse me, and we can activate the teleporter. So link the pad, and our next step is to teleport. So we can go ahead and teleport, and it'll take you to a room before the Pack-a-Punch room, and there's really nothing in this room, so you don't have to worry about anything in this particular room. But after about five seconds, it'll teleport you out of here, and you'll be in the Pack-a-Punch room. So we, then we can go ahead and open the vault with this button right here on the wall, and that's our next step. So the vault is over by Double Tap. You can uh, come over here and walk up to the table and take the surgery tools. And with the surgery tools, we can slice open a couple of bodies and get ourselves some blood samples. So go ahead and knife that guy on the table there and collect the blood sample. And the next one we can get is actually from the pig. So go ahead and knife the pig and you'll be able to collect a blood sample from it. Once you have both of those blood samples, head back over to the table. And activate the mixing machine. Now this part is timed. It takes about two minutes after you press use to start mixing. The blood will start rising up in the canisters, so if you want to do a few rounds and get some points, get some weapons, go ahead and do so. It'll take some time. Once it's filled up, you can come back up here and pick up the mysterious liquid from the table. Once that's done, we can come collect this scrap metal. That's our next step of the Easter egg, is to collect three pieces of scrap metal around the map. Our second piece is right here by Jug in the pig room. And our final piece of scrap metal is in the surgery room on the table just here. And our next step in the Easter egg is to teleport. And making our way to the Pack-a-Punch room because we have to mix the ingredients that we just picked up. So in this room there's going to be a machine that you can place the scrap metal into the mold. And again, this is a timed event, so you just have to wait for the liquid to rise. It's going to be about two minutes, so feel free to do a round or two. And then once it's been about two minutes, you can teleport again and come back to pick up the mysterious liquid. Once that's done, a summoning key will spawn in the power room, a soul canister, and we will have to then be collecting souls in three locations around the map. We can place it right there on the pedestal. And for this next step, I recommend upgrading the Spuds gun. It is extremely OP and very useful to have in solo. Otherwise, this next step can be pretty difficult collecting souls here because in solo there are so many ways that you have to defend it's very easy to go down on this particular step. 
So here's the second soul canister that we have to collect souls for. And in this clip I have the spuds cannon. Here's the third soul canister that we have to collect souls. And I'll show you how useful the spuds cannon is in solo. It really is just OP. You can just spray it at the ground. It doesn't hurt you. You don't take splash damage and it just kills everything around you. Very, very useful. After that we can come back to the speed cola room and craft the artifact. And I recommend having a crawler while you craft it because it does take a little time to craft. And the zombies can uh, attack you. So we can go ahead and pick up the tactical glue gun. And then our next step is to go ahead and upgrade the glue gun. We may not have to do this, but if you want to, you can. And we can shoot the power panel with the glue gun and the whole map will turn dark. After that we can run over to these generators and buy them for 2500 to activate them and there's three of these generators. The next generator is just down here by Speed Cola. Go ahead and activate that one. And the final generator is in the jug room or the pig room. And this is the final step of the easter egg. Once we activate this one we will be rewarded with the Perkaholic. And if you've gotten this far, congratulations, you have completed the 5 lab reimagined easter egg and there is a bible ending right here for 50k in the elevator if you so wish to do that. Thanks for watching everybody, that's been my quick and easy tutorial on 5 lab reimagined. I hope this helps. Ascended Zombie out.